Hey friends! I am sure that a lot of you guys are going to hop on this call because whenever anyone admits to how hard they failed something, then we all want to get on and see what the heck they're talking about. So I'm going to give you guys a second to hop on. But this time of year is always the time that I, like, it just brings back this thought um, of how I failed so, so hard and how I'm changing that this year. Comment below when you get on here. Give me a little heart. Give me a hey. Show me, show me that you're here. Um, I'm waiting for people to keep hopping on before I get in my story. Hey, guys. Oh, Brittany, Sarah, Steven. Hi over the ocean. Hey, guys. How's everybody doing? Okay, so there are a few of you guys here. I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, so my biggest failure. I'm going to tell you a story. First of all, we all know that it's fall. We all know this is the time that we all want to wrap up in a blanket, put a pumpkin spice candle on, get a pumpkin spice latte, preferably decaf right at this time of day, um, watch a TV show on binge, and just like snuggle up with the people we love, right? Like that's what fall represents, and that's why so many people love this season and love Christmas and love all of this time of year. That is just undeniable. But... There are so many ways that that can impact, like, how we are as people, like, in the, in the seasons of fall and winter. And for me, exactly a year ago was when I was taking off into my first Young Artist program at Sarasota Opera. I was so excited. I came in super prepared, learned all my music, was so excited. And, you know, it was fall, and it was really, like, you know, yay, pumpkin spice lattes and blah, blah, blah. And so we get there, right? And it's fall. And I start, like, being less and less involved in my coaching stuff, in the opera fit thing. Because I was at this program, I was doing something new, it was wonderful fall, pumpkin spice latte, need I say more? Um, and I just decided, I told myself, I was like, you know, like, this coaching thing is getting really hard. It's just not, I'm not feeling it right now. I'm going to take a step back from coaching so that I can work on myself. Um, because that's like one of the top things that I hear from a lot of people who I talk to who would like make amazing coaches. They're like, wait a minute, I just need to work on myself before I start helping other people. And so I was that person last year in the fall. And I was like, you know what, I need to like work on myself before I can be giving enough to other people. And I was starting this program, it's fall, et cetera, et cetera. So the month of October and November, I can, I can look back on my journals and tell you the like, most emo posts I've ever written in a journal were during the months of October and November 2015 at my Young Artist Program because I had just, what I equated to, like, taking care of myself and, like, prioritizing me and all of that turned into just hiding. Like, it was just a way for me to hide and to not be accountable to anybody and to say that I was working on me, but, like, who knew what I was doing? Nobody did because I wasn't holding myself accountable to workouts. I wasn't like participating in the coaching world. I wasn't like helping any of you guys start any journeys. I just walled up. And you know what happened? I was miserable. I wasn't enjoying where I was at Sarasota. And that's not to speak of the program. That was just me like feeling miserable because I felt so isolated because I was isolating myself. I stopped reading personal development because when I read it, it made me like feel hypocritical and guilty because it was all about like building the life of your dreams and putting in like the mindsets and the work you need to, to create that dream and that like reality. And I stopped working out because who wants to work out in the fall? Honestly, not me, nobody. Like it's just human nature. We want to snuggle up and drink PSLs. And so I just gave in to that feeling of like, this is too hard, I don't really want to do it because I'm going to work on me. And what happened was I was miserable, I gained 15 pounds, I like lost the dream of opera fit, I stopped helping people, and that meant I stopped helping myself. And I just didn't show up to my business for the month of October, November, and that's what happened. So I just wanted to share that message for you, like, if you feel yourself kind of like, holding up or hibernating or being like, oh, you know, I just need to really work on me right now. I've got, it's audition season. Things are crazy. I need to, you know, be working on X, Y, Z and that needs my whole attention. 
Let me tell you, working out for 30 minutes a day, having a community that has your back and that motivates the shit out of you every day, having a coaching expectation to be helping other people while you help yourself, I guarantee you that like raises the bar of how much you will actually work on yourself by exponential factors. Like, I can't tell you the difference between this past September, like, of 2016, from last September when I was starting to retreat. And I'm not telling you this because I think everybody should become a coach because coaching isn't for everybody. But if you are someone who is retreating and who's finding, like, excuse after excuse not to take care of your body, not to take care of your mind and heart deciding to wall up and snuggle up and, you know, binge watch shows every free second of your time, not reading books that open your heart and your mind. Opera fit. I can't tell you when I gave up on opera fit, I didn't like who I became. I was miserable. I gained weight. I didn't, I didn't enjoy life. I wasn't connected to my greater purpose in life, which no matter who you are, helping people is a purpose for everyone. It doesn't have to be that you're a health coach and that you're, you know, helping people start a fitness journey. It just needs for, for you to be giving. And this is a way for any single person on this planet to give to other people. Just by bringing them in this amazing community is a gift into its own. Because everyone in there is beyond the most loving and supportive and wonderful people I've ever met. And some of them I haven't even met in person and they have been total life changers in my, in my entire life. So this is my message to you. The only failure that you can have is giving up and isolating yourself and allowing yourself to tell yourself the story of, I just need to like take care of me right now. When in fact you really need to connect you really need to plug in. You really need to show up to a community of loving and positive and supportive people. And I'm telling you, Opposite has been that for me time and time again. I've gone through some really hard things in my life that have nothing to do with fitness and wellness or recipes or anything. And they've been some of my best friends that I've ever had. Because taking care of yourself is the only way you can give to more people. And the only way to give to more people is when you commune is when you connect. So that's the best way you can take care of yourself, in my opinion. Connect to other people. And Operafit is there for you if you need this, if you really need a community, if you really need people to hold you accountable, to show up and really do focus on yourself. We're here. So that is what's coming to mind from today. It just feels like a really fall day, and it reminded me of last fall when I totally gave up and gave in and isolated myself and I don't want anyone to feel like I felt last fall so I hope you hear this in a space of heart know that I love you and know that this community is here for you whenever you feel ready for it so that's my message I hope you guys are having a great Thursday and I will see you guys soon okay bye